Once I start talking, the chickens are going to get loud, so we don't have much time. I actually got chicken food here to throw in there to quiet them up if I have to. This is a largemouth bass. Okay, I usually keep them only between 14 and 16 inches or so. So they got to be 14 inches to keep. And there are more of the 14 to 16 inch size in the lake than the bigger ones. And the bigger ones make bigger fish. So I like to put back the big ones. See how clean these fish are? Just beautiful markings on them. Gorgeous, gorgeous bass. See how I hold the bass by its lip by the bottom lip I bend it back that paralyzes a bass so that's a perch you see flipping around there I'll fillet that one next I start just behind the gill flap and I go a little bit this way toward the head so that I can get underneath those scales I get down to the spine I can feel that spine bone and I cut right along the spine and I get to the anus, pop the knife through, and I feel that spine all the way, all the way. Stop before I get through by the tail there. I leave it attached. Then I ride along that spine, just like with the smaller fish. I just carve around the ribs there a little bit. Now I can get my hand in there and grab on. And I'm going to cut right down toward the belly, not into the belly but about right in there. That's gonna be my filet, feeling right along the ribs. The filet is off. That's a nice filet right there. I like to get right to the edge of my board, cut downward a little bit at an angle so that I'm not cutting through the skin. Right along the skin, getting the flesh off from the skin. It's a nice fillet right there. I'll wash all the blood off when I get in the house. The last few years I've been cutting out this line right here on the bigger fish. Just because I think it gives it a cleaner taste. It's a little bit muddy tasting maybe with that line in there. So I make kind of a V cut at that line. Are the chickens bugging you yet? They're bugging me. <laughs> and then I reach in there and grab that thing and pull it right out. Sometimes it just zips right out. Like that. Got it. And then from here toward the tail, that's not going to come out as easily. I'm going to cut a little bit deeper. Make my V. And then I'll pop that thing right out of there. Maybe. There it goes. Pulled it right out. This one didn't come apart right here. If it did, I'd have two pieces of that filet. That'd be totally fine. I'll clean that up when I get in the house. Flip this baby over and we'll do it again. Cutting right down to the spine. Cutting along the spine. Get down here, punch the knife through. Feeling the spine as I go. I've cutting right along the ribs, all the way back. Now, I'm going to carve around the ribs, cutting down toward the belly. I got a little more belly than I wanted. I don't want that white belly meat, that white part of the belly, um, where the scales are white, because I don't want the belly meat. I'll cut that out. Now we're going to go like this. I don't like to cut toward myself, but since the camera's on, I'm doing it so that you guys can see better. Now that filet, I left the belly meat right there. It just worked out nice. There's a little bit of skin right here. I'll kind of carve that right out. That's part of that belly meat. Nice filet right there.